minimally involved in youth ministry as a teenager in high school, but I became much more involved when I went to a Catholic college. When I was in high school, I went and worked with the Missionaries of Charity for a few weeks one summer before my senior year. There was a period of my life growing up where we kind of drifted away from the Catholic Church and moved more in the evangelical direction for several years. And I was involved in um, you know, some of the different religious groups on campus, um, some of the pro-life groups. I think you have an idea when you go to do you know, mission trips and that sort of thing of what can I bring to the people? How will I, you know, what lessons can I teach the people? And of course, that it's never that. It's always, what did I get out of this? So when I was in high school, I did do a Christian singing tour called On the Road. I think it was called On the Road. And I went to Missouri <laughs> to sing about the Lord. I was the only Catholic with all of these um, evangelicals in the middle of the country. And I can't believe my parents let me go, but they were the most beautiful people. For me, I remember so clearly that what I learned is that serving Jesus can be fun. And what I learned from those nuns is these women gave up everything. They literally have in their possession, they don't even own, a comb and maybe a pair of nail clippers and then they're sorry that they wear. Um, and they are the most joy-filled people you ever, will ever meet. But I wasn't involved in Catholic youth ministry, which from what I see today through my own kids is so cool. <laughs> I'm so inspired by people who can give everything to Jesus. You know, and that's what I learned. We're all called to do that, and that looks different for different people, but there's so much joy in that.